All right, cool. So I have three different metal salt solutions. I have zinc sulfate, copper sulfate, and magnesium sulfate. And I also have four different metals here. I have some copper metal, some zinc metal, I have some magnesium metal, and lastly, I have some iron metal. We're going to react the metal salt solutions with the metals, starting with copper sulfate and iron. Now, when we add iron to copper sulfate, we can see a lot of bubbles being formed. And that's because iron is more reactive than copper. So it's able to displace the copper in copper sulfate and form iron sulfate. We can see copper forms a precipitate on iron. Now let's add some zinc to copper sulfate and see what happens. Now zinc is more reactive than copper. So the zinc is able to displace the copper in copper sulfate and form zinc sulfate. And as that's being formed, the solution is getting paler in colour. We can also see the displaced copper precipitate on the zinc metal. Alright, cool. Now we're going to get some magnesium sulfate and react it with some copper metal. Okay, so when you add copper to magnesium sulfate, no reaction occurs. And that's because copper is less reactive than magnesium. So it's unable to displace the magnesium in magnesium sulfate. And lastly, we have some zinc sulfate. And we're going to react it with some magnesium metal. Now, when you put magnesium into zinc sulfate, the magnesium displaces the zinc in zinc sulfate to form magnesium sulfate. And that's because magnesium is more reactive than zinc metal. You don't know.